Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Friday, January 21st, 2022. Sit down and relax, people. We have to talk. Let's um, let's set the stage here. Uh, there's a lot going on, and it, there appears to be a fear trade developing across uh, the entire markets. What am I talking about? Well, let's look at stock futures. Okay, they are in the red. Not much, but in the red nonetheless. Cryptocurrencies are getting pounded right now. Bitcoin is around 38,000 and change. Gold and silver are under some pressure here. Crude oil is taking a hit. How many times have we seen these uh, pan sell-offs occur? Uh, when you see these kinds of things, you have to say, okay, what's driving it? I think it's fear. Now, just to put another perspective on this, this morning I wake up, I check my email box like I do every day, and there's a lot of concern regarding Russia and the Ukraine. Greg, is this... Is this it? Is this the event that's going to bring down the market? Uh, you know, a lot of people believe that. Okay, uh, we need to see how this plays out. I do believe there's a little bit of fear here. Uh, and we've been seeing that as well reflected in the markets as of late. Um, you know, look, what are we going to do? You sit back and you, you take in the environment now. I still don't see anything major going on here with regard to the debt market, which is the main driver of the stock market. So nothing has really changed here. This is a fear trade, I think, this morning a little bit. Like I said, we're getting kind of a pan sell-off. Pan meaning everything is kind of under a little bit of pressure here, some more than others. Um, but it's one of those kind of things that we just have to ride out. Now, with regard to... Again, what people are asking me regarding this whole Russia-Ukraine thing, is this the event that's going to bring down the, the financial markets? I'm going to have to say no. Why would I say that? Because we can point at it. We, we know where, what's going on here to a certain degree. Of course, there's always some uh, ambiguity with regard to the whole thing. But I firmly believe that the event, whatever it might be, that's going to uh, cause a meltdown in the debt market. Again, it's not the stock market we're looking at. It's the debt market, the driver. Whatever that event might be, it's going to take everyone by surprise. Could this thing here uh, with Russia and the Ukraine evolve into uh, some kind of thing that we have no idea? Of course it can. But again, we're going to remain vigilant. We just look at things and we look at the drivers of the market. Um, like I said, right now the 10-year yield has come down. When you see that, not, not dramatically, but a little bit, when you see that, that's, that's a safety trade. Again, it's fear. It's people that are seeking to uh, put cash to hide in the debt market because they feel it's a safe place to be. <laughs> I know how crazy it sounds, but that's just the way it is. Now, we don't have a full-on fear trade, and how do we know that? Well, the relative strength of the dollar or the Dixie has come down. The dollar is weaker. Generally, with a real full-on fear trade, you get that knee-jerk higher in the dollar. We're not seeing that. All right, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a fear trade evolving. I think there is. Again, gauging from the fact that most assets right now are under pressure. Stock futures... Uh, cryptocurrencies, gold and silver, crude oil. Although, although WTI is sitting at about eighty-five dollars a barrel here, people. All right, look, uh, look, it, it's gone, it's gone retarded. Uh, crude oil. We all understand the mechanism behind it's going much higher, in my view. Uh, and any any drop in in crude. Uh, and this, I wouldn't even call this a real drop. And we were at eighty-seven dollars uh, yesterday. Now we're at eighty-five with regard to WTI. Uh, I mean, if, if I were to see a meaningful drop in crude, I would jump on here and buy it. Um, that's the truth. Let's touch on crypto real quick. Uh, with it, it's taken a pretty big hit 
right now. It started last night here. Um, again, Bitcoin, the mother of them all. When Bitcoin goes down, the other ones kind of follow with it. Now, uh, Bitcoin sitting at around 38,000 and change. This is below my last recommendation to buy at 41. Now, all of you have been with me for a long time. No, I recommended buying it at 3,000, at 5,000, at 10, at 15, 25, 30, and 41. Uh, so yes, it is lower than my last um, suggestion of buying Bitcoin. But again, people look, this is kind of a, the thing when I was referring to gold and silver, I don't care about their day-to-day -day price action. I really don't. Week to week, month to month, don't phase me at all. I feel the same way about the crypto space. I really don't care. To me, these are hedges uh, against the implosion that is going to come in the debt market. When? Don't know. Have no idea. No one, no one knows this. Uh, it will be, in my view... Uh, some outlying event that'll cause that meltdown in the debt market. It, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And I don't speculate on when. I trade the market I have. I hedge for the future. That's just the way it is. And, you know, like I've been explaining to you, you got to sometimes sit back and just ride out these kinds of things in the market. There's no rule that says stock the stock market only goes in one direction all the time, although it does seem like that. I mean, since uh, you know the last meltdown here with the Fed pumping easy money into the market around the world, flooding the world with debt, central banks on a scale we've never seen before. Yeah, we've seen like last year, for example, more record highs with regard to the S&P 500 than ever in history. And you know, this year has not started off very good, but, but that's no surprise. Uh, again, I foretold this, I said, that we should expect a lot of volatility in the stock market and extreme volatility in the crypto space for, for 2022. I think that's playing out exactly like I said it would. Look, I don't pull this stuff out of a hat. I sit back, I look at the data, what I believe is the real stuff, not the stuff they're fist feeding us, okay? I look at the geopolitical situation, which right now is kind of dire, okay? We have an economy, that, a global economy in free fall, in free fall full with central banks desperately and successfully fulfilling their end game to own it all. Um, we are literally moving to that point in time where you, you, they want you and I to own nothing and they want us to be happy about it. Uh, that's where we're going here. We have a one world government run by the central banks. Everything else is, sh is just shit. Anyway, um, I want to talk about this real quick and this is... <laughs> This is incredible. So we heard from, uh, you know, Janet Yellenstein, you know, uh, she's like some kind of troll, this woman, you know, Janet Yellen, former Fed chair, now she's the Treasury Secretary. Now, this is what I find extremely disturbing about people like her, okay. Now, this is what she said here. The rising pace of inflation, are you ready? Sit down. Took everyone by surprise, even her. Uh, no, no, it didn't. Not you and not me because we knew this was coming. I've been telling you this is coming here ever since the transitory fake now. Oh, this is transitory. It's going to go away. You and I laughed at it. We laughed at it because we know it's just shit. It's a distraction. Look here. Don't look here. You know, uh, it did not take everyone by surprise by any way. It's just, this is what they do. Oh, so shocker. No one expected this to happen, really. Really? Honestly? No. That's totally false, and I, and I think you are well aware of that. Anyway, people, look, let's uh, let's just recap real, real quick. It looks like at least right now, we've got 35 minutes till the opening bell. It looks like a pan sell-off this morning. Nothing major, but a pan sell-off nonetheless. Stock futures under pressure, crude oil, under some pressure here, crypto is getting hit pretty good. Gold and silver under some pressure here. Ten-year yield coming down, all right? That tells us that cash is making its way into the debt market, into the debt market. When that happens, yields come down, all right? Dollar, relative strength, um, a little weaker this morning. It's absolute strength is dissolving right before our eyeballs. But look, we got it covered. We know what to do. We know what we're looking at. Stop focusing on the stock market, okay? Focus on the drivers, 
focus on the debt market, which really isn't showing us a damn thing right now. Nothing. So with that said, pressure in this stock market that we've seen as of late, it, it, it shouldn't get you rattled at all. You should be sitting back, riding this out like every real investor and real trader does. Okay, like I said, you invest in the market you have, you trade in the market you have while hedging yourself for the future. This can, could not be easier for all of us people. You know that. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video here. Um, I want to hear from you, honestly. Do you believe, I mean, gauging from my email box this morning, do you believe that this Russia-Ukraine thing is, uh, is something that's going to hit the market more so than most people expect? Is this the outlier? Do you believe that or do you think it's going to... Look, I, I think it's very difficult for any of us to really say what this can evolve into. I don't, again, I just look at the debt market to tell me what is, is going on here. The debt market is invariably correct uh, and it is a leading indicator. So keep our eyes on the, if we do keep our eyes on the debt market, the 10 year yield more specifically, and the M. M-R-I, Manorino Market Risk Indicator, link in the description of this video. You're not going to find a better indicator for risk anywhere, I don't care where you look. Uh, if you keep your eyes on that, it's going to make our lives a, a lot easier and it'll keep us more relaxed, you know? Uh, <laughs> you got to stay relaxed. All right, people, look, I'm out here. Love all of you. See you at the end of the day. And I do want to hear from you. All right. I will read the comments. I promise. And uh, well, that's it.